So here we are back uh, episode 16. So last episode we got the fender in place. We got our saddlebag bracket and our hoop all uh, put on. Um, what we're gonna put on today now is gonna be, we're gonna be working on our custom tail lights and custom tail light brackets. So we're going with super bright LEDs. This stuff's all from custom designs and beam, uh, beam LED lights. We're going with their actual filler plate. So with this filler plate, what I need to do is kind of work backwards. Like I said, this is all part of mocking up. C customizing bikes is not as simple as people think. That's why it costs a fair dollar to, uh, to do it. So we've got to take off our quick detach setup again here for our tour pack. And we got to take our strut bar cover off because we've got to drill a hole in the side of the strut bar bracket for the tail light filler. Again, this is the 2009 police special that we're working on here today. And it's just mock-up. We're uh, customizing it up, but still gonna use it so uh, for long hauls. So that's why we're keeping the docking hardware for the tour pack. Just move that up out of the way. Again, we gotta remove our front saddlebag bracket, which we never did tighten because we haven't got our saddlebags put together yet. I thought I'd finish back in the back here first uh, because even when I get the shocks, I have to find a place to put the Olin's accumulator. accumulator. So I'm just uh, trying to think about that as well. So now I just remove our chrome cover. And it shows us our strut bar. So I'm going to grab our light here. So this is our light bracket. It goes on like this. I have to find the right proper spot for it. I, uh, if it was just bent on a little bit more of an angle, I could go right here to our fender bolt, which I might actually do. I might bend this more perpendicular to be vertical, and then I could go right to that hole. I might attempt to do that. I think that might work best for us. Again, customizing is always fun. You don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. Uh, that's why people pay a lot of money for shops to do the work for them. Because it takes the thinking and the guessing out of the customer. You tell them what you want and they just build it. Of course, costs a bit of money. Not everyone's got tools or the knowledge. But if you got time, you can save and do it yourself.
that I'm just saying, you know, it's, uh, it's each person's their, it's their own vision. Their own vision is what I like. Everyone's uh, thought of customization is different. No one's is the same. So I'm just going to widen this hole here. bracketry all back here I was gonna cut it off and I might still but luckily I haven't yet because I need this bracket here and this bolt to uh, be part of my uh, tail height and it has a little slot in it so I can move it back and forth to see where I want it It's are, you know, they're nice, but it's tough to get tooling through the little bracket sometimes. So I'll show you what we did here. On the, we drilled a hole, put on the bracket for the tail light, and we utilized the OEM bolt there. So I'm going to just set the camera there. Again, sorry, I don't have a camera person today. And I'll show you here. Let me grab the right tail light once I find the right one. They're labeled right and left. So this is the right one. So that would go right in there like that. I'd have to mount it, obviously, but just to give you an idea. So that's how it will look. Don't want it to fall out on me, but that's how it will look. So I'm going to put the old police saddle bag back on. Make sure that the bracket, this bracket here is not in the way. And this bracket here isn't rubbing against the saddle bag. I don't got the new saddle bags put together yet. So I'm just utilizing uh, the ones I currently have. I'm going to put the nasty hog ones together. So I'm going to slide the base on. I'm going to open the top. Slide it forward. And as I can see, I'll hook it right in. Put the tail light in.
I think that's going to look great. Again, I got to mount it yet, but I want to get all my wiring and everything ready. But that's that's how it will look, right like that. Again, our tail our, our saddle bags will be chopped as well, so they'll be coming down on the same angle. So I believe this will be recessed just as much as the the fender. So I think I'm going to like that. I'll like that look a lot. So I'll take this off and I'll mount the other bracket on the other side. I'll remove our saddle bag so we know none of the brackets are rubbing on the saddle bag, which is good. That happens sometimes. It's close, but it's not rubbing. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the same bracket on the other side and when I'm done that I'll come back. So we're back as we see we got the bracket bolted on now for our tail light. Set it up here. Sorry, again just me and the camera. I'm going to peel off the 3M tape. Peel off the outside laminate. I'm going to put the light in the slot now. I got to get her lined up pretty good because it's 3M two sided tape. in place and these, this 3M tape is pretty good. So I had already done the right side so there it is that's the stock saddle bag not the chop saddle bag yeah i gotta put the chop ones together but there you go that's what they'll look like with the tail lights on it so again i'll uh, pull my phone out of the stand here so this this stand mounted in the stock oem crossover bracket for the fender I had to drill one hole, there was a hole underneath my uh, saddlebag bracket. I just had to drill it out to fit the, the bolt that came with it. And then the LED lights uh, were 3M two side tape, our new fender. There's the same one on the other side. And as you can see, this is with an OEM saddlebag on it. But I'm going to have the chop saddlebags, which will come out the same distance and go right down so they'll still be nicely uh, recessed and nice and clean looking. Again, uh, these were, uh, the manufacturer of these are called ProBeam LED lights. So uh, that's who they were. But uh, like I say, uh, I'm liking the, the look of them. Uh, coming along pretty nice. Uh, like I say, I gotta put the saddle bags together yet, so. I got to mount the lids, put the seal on them and stuff. Not a big deal. I like these hoop bars. Uh, and I have uh, bags that can go there for uh, when I travel. It connects there to there. I like it. I like it a lot. It's coming together. I'll have to uh, wire in the tail lights. Here's the OEM harness. And then I'll go through the hole. And then I'll wire it up. But in due time, next... Uh, before I even do the, the saddlebags, I've got to get the shocks all lined up and set up. So we'll go from there.